Hi, and welcome to our video on vertical and horizontal lines on a graph. I want to talk about the slopes of these lines and their equations. And I want to really get your sense of patterns here up to speed on why all this makes a lot of sense. So let's get started. A vertical line, of course, is a line that's vertical, meaning it goes straight up and down, right? Perfectly straight up or down. And we'll call this line V for vertical. A horizontal line, of course, is a line that in a sense is flat, right? It doesn't rise or fall at all. And we'll call this line H for horizontal. Some properties here. Well, a horizontal line, what has to happen? Well, our slope has to be zero. And for a vertical line, what happens? Well, for a vertical line, our slope is undefined. And we'll come back to that in a moment. What else has to happen? Well, on a horizontal line, let's just plot some points on there. How about this point and this point? Well, any points we pick on a horizontal line will be at the same elevation, right? And all of these points, well, here x is equal to 5, negative 10. Here x is equal to 25, negative 10. On a horizontal line, all of the y values are the same. That's because the height's the same, right? It never goes up or down. So on a horizontal line, right, all y values are, that's not very clear, different pen, all y values are equal. What about a, what about a, horizontal, a vertical line? Well, if I pick a point here, and let's say a point here, it doesn't matter now what point I'm picking on the vertical line, what do you notice? Well, this point down here, the x value is 15, and the y value is 0. But this point up here, the x value is 15, and the y value is 10. If you think about every point on this line, which is neither bending to the left or right at all, that means all the x values are the same, right? doesn't matter where I am. x will always equal the same number. So on a vertical line, our x values are all the same. And that, I think, is a, is a good segue into the slope and the equations of these lines. So for a vertical line, let's try and calculate the slope. If you remember what slope is, slope is just delta y over delta x. So that means you take the y values, subtract them, and take the x values and subtract them, and put, write them as a ratio. So the two y values I'll pick are the, the ones I already have. It's 10 minus 0. And the x values are 15 minus 15. And we get 10 over 0. Of course, the problem here is you, can, you cannot define, you cannot divide by 0. So here, when we divide by 0, our slope is undefined. So for vertical lines, the slope is undefined. You cannot divide by 0. We can talk about that more in other videos. So the slope is undefined. How do we write the equation of this line? Well, it's actually nice because we said before all of the x values are the same on this line. Since they're all 15, what you could write for this line, this vertical line, is x equals 15. That's just saying it doesn't matter what point you pick, the x value is always 15. And the line that is built from that, from all the points where x is 15, that, right, we're saying every single point, all the infinite points on x equals 15, that's this line right here. So vertical lines will always be written, or can always be written, as x equals some number, or x equals a, or however you want to write that. That's the equation for a vertical line. For a horizontal line, let's start with the slope. If we compare these two points right here, as delta y over delta x, or delta y is, let's say, negative 10, different pen values, so you can see, negative 10 minus negative 10. And in the denominator, we would pick 5 minus 25. Well, 5 minus 25 is negative 20. But negative 10 minus negative 10, it's anything subtracted by itself is 0. So for the slope of the horizontal line, here we get 0 over negative 20. And 0 divided by anything is 0. So for horizontal lines, right, m always equals 0. And let me actually write this up here. M is undefined for vertical lines. And that's for any horizontal line, right? Because the 
the, the y values are always the same. So you're always subtracting some y from itself. What about the equation of a horizontal line? Well, horizontal line, in many senses, is opposite of a vertical line, right? They are perpendicular. They cross at a 90 degree angle. So you can always think that since the y value is the same for all these points, everywhere along the line, it's always any point here, all infinite points, the y value is always equal. We could write an equation for this line as y right, equals negative 10. And what we're saying there is, well, this line is every point when y is negative 10. And that's the line h right here. So for, for horizontal lines, you'll see some formula where y equals some number. And that will represent the horizontal line. And, and this is all in the context of, of, of general linear equations, which I hope you are reviewing and studying because uh, a lot of this is really intuitive and I, I know you can handle it. So thanks and I hope this helped.